Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sets and relations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that find the number of elements in the set where the set is given to us as n belongs to natural numbers. Also, they tell us that n is from 10 to 100 and one more condition is given to us that says 10 3 raised to n minus 3 is a multiple of 7. So this is the second condition given to us. So we need to find how many number of elements would be in the set which satisfies both of these conditions as well as n belongs to a natural number. So we have to find how many number of elements and if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, the options are 5, 10, 15 and 20. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the number of elements in this set. So let's first analyze this condition because this condition looks difficult. For this condition, we already know that n should lie between or n should lie from 10 to 100 any values. So let's figure out this condition now. So 3 raised to n minus 3, it is given to us that how many natural numbers from 10 to 100 would satisfy this condition. So 3 raised to n minus 3 should be a multiple of 7. So that is a question asked to us. Now, if I try to solve this, now we know that for any integers, whenever this entire expression is a multiple of 7, so if I divide this value, whatever it is, with 7, I should get the remainder as 0. So then I would say 3 raised to n minus 3 is a multiple of 7, or I can say 3 raised to n minus 3 is divisible by 7 right so that is the whole idea so we need this 3 raised to n minus 3 is equal to 7 into k for some integer value of k right let's try to expand this idea so 3 raised to n minus 3 if i try to solve it further i take out 3 common so what i'm left with is 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 so I want this expression to be a multiple of 7, but when I'm taking out 3, my expression turns like this. Now I want this expression also to be a multiple of 7. Now here in this question, we will use the idea of divisibility. So we'll use the mod concept. Now let's explore a few powers of 3 modulo 7. So if I see first one, let's say 3 raised to 1, that is 3. So if I divide 3 with 7, what is the remainder I get? That is 3. So I get when I mod it with 7, 3 raised to 1 has the remainder as 3. So we are writing our remainders here. Now 3 square, that is 9. So if I see and divide 9 by 7, so if I do mod 7, I get 7 once is 7, so you get the remainder as 2. So you get the remainder as 2 when you have 3 square. Further, if I try to find out 3 cube, that is 27. 27 divided by 7, 7 3 is 21, so you get the remainder as 6. 3 raised to 4, you have that as 81, and 81, if I see, Dividing it by 7, 7 ones is 7, 11, so 7 ones is 7 again, you get the remainder as 4. So mod of 7, you get 6, mod of 7 with 3 raised to 4, you get 4. Now further, if I do it, 3 raised to 5, that will give me 243. So 243, if I divide by 7, you get 7, 3 is 21. 33, 7, 4 is 28 and you get 5. So you get that as 5 mod 7. 3 raised to 6, that is 729. So 729 if I divide by 7, 7 1 is 7. 
then you have 2 which will give you 0 and then you will have 29 so 7 4 is 28 so you get the remainder as 1 so mod 7 now further if you do 3 raised to 7 that is 729 into 3 that if you divide it by 7 you will again get the remainder as 3 Again, then you will get the remainder as 2, 6, 4, 5, 1. So basically, this pattern of remainders is going to repeat here after this point of 1. So 3 raised to 7 will give you remainder as 3. 3 raised to 8 will give you the remainder as 2. So 3 raised to 7 is having equal remainder compared to this. 3 raised to 8, so 3 raised to 9 and so on. You will get the same remainders in the list. So you have this cycle repeated of the remainders 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1 and so on. Right. Now we have for 3 raised to n, but we don't need 3 raised to n. Right. We need to find for 3 raised to n minus 1. So if I put n as 1 here and find the cycle for 3 raised to n minus 1, so if I put n as 1, you get 3 raised to 0, which is 1. So when I find that with mod 7, so if I divide 1 with 7, you get 7, 0, 0, so 1. So you get the remainder 1 for mod 7. This happens when you have n value as 1. If I put n as 2, you get again 3 raised to 1. For that, we already know the remainder and that was 3. So now if I do that, your remainder is 3 when you divide it by 7. For n equals to 3, you will have n minus 1, 1 lesser. So you will have that cycle 2. So 2. Again, then you will have 6. Then 4, 5. And then if you see, you again have 1. So again, that pattern of cycle is repeated. 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 5. So you get the cycle repeated again as well with n minus 1. So with n as 4, you get that as 3 cube, which gives you remainder 6. With n as 5, you get 3 raised to 4, which gives you remainder 4. And so on, you get this n equals to 6, you get 3 raised to 5. n equals to 7, you get n minus 1 as 3 raised to 6, which will give you the remainder 1. So you get this idea repeated when you have that same mod of 7. Now, once I have this pattern of mod repeated, I want 3 raised to or n minus 3 or I can say 3 taken common, 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 as a multiple of 7. So when I divide this entire expression with 7, I should get the remainder as 0. So then only it becomes a multiple of 7, right? So now let's analyze. So 3. 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 should turn out to give you a remainder 0 when you have applied mod of 7. So what I will do here is I will divide this throughout by 3. So what you need is basically if you have 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 giving you a remainder 0 when you have mod of 7. You can multiply it with 3. It will still give you the same remainder that is 0. Right. So from this cycle, I understand that 3 raised to n minus 1 should give you remainder as 1 when you have mod of 7. I just took this minus 1 on the other side that gives you plus 1 because that whatever remainder you're getting that as 1, if you put it here, 1 minus 1 will turn out to become 0. Right. So you have to get the remainder of 3 raised to n minus 1 as 1 when you divide it by 7 and if you see for 3 raised to n minus 1 we just solved it you get that as 1 when you have the powers as 0 then 6 then if i see the cyclicity it is going to repeat itself so n minus 1 i can say for the powers of 0 6 12 18 24 30 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72, 78, 84, 90, 96. We have to go only 102. It will continue. But we have to find all the values of n which lie from 
10 to 100. So I will eliminate this as well as all the values apart from that. So you have all of this values which will satisfy for n minus 1. But we need to find the value of n, not n minus 1. So I will add 1 to all of these values to get my set of values of n. So I will get here 13, 19, 25, 31, 37, 43, 49, 55, 61, 67, 73, 79, 85, 91, and 97. So if I see how many terms I have, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So I have my set consisting of the values of n as 15 terms which will satisfy both of the conditions given to us. That is n is between 9 and 101 all the integer values so n is from 10 to 100 and it also satisfies this so i get the answer as number of elements are 50 and that matches with option c so c becomes the correct answer for the question given to us i hope you have understood this how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of divisibility or the multiples of one number being the multiple of other so we just use that idea to find the modulus of 7 and we wrote the remainders. We got a pattern of numbers getting repeated. Then we found the same thing for 3 raised to n minus 1. So our powers decreased by 1 everywhere. So yes, cyclicity was the remainders repeated in the pattern of 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 5. Then we had this entire thing to become 0 as the remainder because you need this to become a multiple of 7. So for that, I understood if I have this entire bracket only multiple of 7. So I should get the remainder for this bracket equals to 0. I took 1 on the other side. So I got a 3 raised to n minus 1 should have a remainder 1 when you divide it by 7. And that occurs for the values of n minus 1 which is at a multiple of 6. So I wrote all the multiples of 6 starting from 0. And I got many multiples but I understood that n goes only from 10 to 100. So I eliminated all the multiples less than 10 and more than 100. So from there, I got the values of n minus 1. And to get the values of n, I just added 1 to all of these terms. I got 15 terms in my list, and that matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood this how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12th as well as JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. See you tomorrow again with one other video. Thank you.